best way to get a good look at Berry Wharf is from above. So I said we'd get to Daisy Field Viaduct, which is its name. Um, it says Derby Street. Or is it? It's Wellington Street uh, Bridge. Uh, it says on a plaque nearby, but it's actually Daisy Field Viaduct and it's part of the railway. It was part of the railway system, the L and Y R. So if I'm just going to look over, and we're going to just get the canal extension, which no longer exists. Uh, it's in the place I actually guessed in like my second ever blog vlog. It does run underneath this viaduct under the arch, which was put there purposely, as I assumed it was. It was the four arches of the viaduct. It's actually five arches, I think, and one's been filled in. Anyway, so along the back of that big mill is Victoria Mill. It's now the Den Living and Coordinated Space Area. That's uh, what they call it now, it's Victoria Mill. <laughs> uh, running behind there, you can see the car park. The modern day car park is for the modern day fire training facility, the fire service. Greater Manchester Fire Service. So, along the very edge of the car park and behind the mill, it runs from the left hand side over to the right, as I'm saying. Right, so the canal at that point splits into two. There's actually a, an old reservoir at the end of Victoria Road or Victoria Street which goes all the way over to the modern it's the there's a retail park it's on that Anglin way Anglin retail it's one of the retail parks in the area uh, the modern day gas works has been updated and they're taking the large drums out so I think I've only ever filmed them once, so they've gone now. So Dave was documented for the time capsules. But this is also Daisy Field. Um, there's Egyptian mills, and there's another mill next to it uh, doing calico printing. So as I've said, it's very interesting. So there's the large reservoir. I'm catching it in the rain and the wind, and it's a bit blurred, but we're just going to do it because we're just going to end the canal. Well, because we need to start going in the other direction, basically. Because we need to get Phillips Park aqueducts. And I, I'm going to condense things and just say it's done. Instead of trying to find secrets. I do have a friend who works for the fire station, but I never got a chance to get in there. And I can't explain from up here. There's an old reservoir that used to be part of a mill. That's Wharf Mill, which is no longer there. The chimney is still in existence. Um, I... I'm going to go up there, fire escape, just to finish off the wharf, but that's part of Elton's playlist, so we're going to have to mix those up a little bit here, which is going to be interesting, but yeah, I'm going to try and do that. So this will also be part of the dam breach of 1852 Elton reservoirs, and then we can tie everything up together, but the canal starts here, which I said I would do in a loop. So as Elton Dam Breach starts, we follow the flow down, it hits the wharf, floods the wharf, and now we're showing you the wharf as it flows out towards Bolton and Salford. Uh, Knob End Locks is an interesting section, and Daisy Field, as I said, has a feeder canal which extends to the main canal behind Egyptian Mills, and it flows in here, it comes up underneath and you'll see where it comes underneath, where the modern railway would have been. So they've built the embankment up from the dirt. But this is actually Walshaw Brook and Elton Brook. Eventually, emerges here after it fills that large reservoir on the other side, which is part of Daisyfield Mills, which is no longer in existence. And it's also at the 
end of the guy, but the guy isn't part of this. It is part of the canal, but we don't want to start talking about the canal feeder at this point, as it does run it's like almost half a mile away. And it looks like Elton Brook and Walshie Brook, which is here, actually did connect to the canal section, which is no longer in existence. And that's at the end of where I say Daisyfield Canal or water system of some description. It's hard to explain, but it does. There's a canal extends along here, as we can see. So it definitely loops right round and joins the extra mile of the Berry Canal, which is no longer there. Also, at Wharf Mills, which is no longer there, where the fire station is. I say there's a reservoir that's also filled by Walshaw and Elton Brook. So there's two reservoirs that are filled by those, and then they eventually appear here, and that's those. And there's some building that's taking place. The builders seem to have left a circle. I think that's where an old chimney one stood. So, and there's evidence of a canal that ran along the back of these mills also. It's also, that's on maps. And it was a really nice little place, but it's no longer in existence, and this is really the best description we're going to get. The extra mile of the Berry Canal to its wharf. And obviously, this footage of the wharf was part of the Elton Dam breach. So the next thing we'll see, we've got Withins guy to get in. We've got um, where Beely's guy is, and Beely also pioneered this wharf and canal. Okay, that's enough information, isn't it? So that's Daisyfield, Berry Wharf, and we're actually on. We went over the aqueduct, which was part of the Lancashire and Yorkshire railway line. Okay, please like. Thanks for watching.